G'day everybody. Welcome to Friday Slows. It is a wonderful sunny day, the birds are singing and uh, yeah, might take you around the garden a little bit and see what's blooming. Yeah, so it is actually March 5th. I had my cup of tea, I had my TE. TE is going to go and do TE things, I guess. I'll catch you all later. And uh, yeah, I'll take you along, hopefully do a bit of sewing, but it won't be too much because obviously my video will go up a little bit later that day, but you won't know that until it goes up, but I'm just saying that now, and it is actually 10.44 in the morning. Hey guys, it is currently Thursday and last night I joined in the social meetup via Zoom which is arranged by Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door again and yeah, so I lasted just over an hour which was great fun, catching up with what everybody was doing, plans, all sorts of things. Yes, I was still a bundle of nerves and still really hot but it did it, so that was really good. And it just insert a little few seconds excerpt of some footage and a still so you can see us. That's intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have another Zoom meeting. These are all the wonderful ladies. So say hi everybody. How is everybody? Okay? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Okay, thank you guys. And uh, yeah, it was great fun. And thank you to both Andrea and the ladies for hanging out. And there's a few more ladies this week than there was last week. Okay, I am hoping to do some sewing today. And where possible, I will pick up the camera and do a little bit of filming but see how the day goes with it because it's not always able to be able to pick their camera up and film. Also I want to talk about the comments that I receive. Now I know I made a specific video about this and it's about commenting and replying back to comments that you guys are very kind in doing and leaving them and always like receiving comments it's wonderful thank you yes yeah, so it is the same issue again and so you click on the notifications and the box comes up with the comments and or you can actually go directly to your video and then scroll down and see the comments that way but the issue is more of when I look at the comments in the notification box and you can see them but the moment you click on them they completely disappear and then you go check your video and they're not on there and then you go to the YouTube studio and go through everything spam and yeah they are not there I don't know if it's a ticky issue I don't know if you guys know of what or why the comments sometimes just completely disappear and or not appear for whatever way are they there but somewhere they're just hidden because somebody you know takes their time to watch my video they comment and then I cannot reply because they're just not there I have managed to PM a couple of the people I say people because I'm not going to say if it's man or lady and just to let them know with a video and just a still so it's more of a visual way of seeing what I'm also trying to convey it just it keeps happening so if you guys have any insight as to why you can see comments in the box when you click on the notifications but the moment you click on that actual message it's vanished it's just not there I don't know if it like I said if it's a YouTube issue or just a general ticket issue but yeah it's happening again 
And I know obviously similar things like this happen to other people, but it's just, I don't know, it, it keeps happening to the same people as well. So I don't know if that's anything to do with it. I don't know if it's to do with the sittings or maybe they actually accidentally hit cancel. And yeah, I know some somebody said to me, yeah, if they accidentally hit cancel, it won't show up in your box. It does if they've gone back in to edit it, the original messages there, but not the newly message that they've left after they've edited it. So yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. And also the other thing as well, I know there's a lot of schemes going around, but whatever you call them, on whatever media platform that is out there. And yeah, I just keep getting, I don't want to go into details, but those really horrible messages, sometimes they're obviously typed out. And okay, like we've all said before, if you don't like something, why do you actually spend your time in watching someone's video and or another Maura media platform, whether it be Facebook or Instagram or the other ones. <laughs> I don't know what the other ones are. <laughs> I'm not hitting that them, I'm afraid. And yeah, also the other ones that are more, shall we say, <clears throat> personally graphic. <laughs> and that's the only best polite way I can put it. And it, it's just annoying because I have to then have my Instagram account private and unless I come across the people that most of us pretty much follow, I then send them a request if they're private and or obviously you can follow if they're not private. But usually back it up most of the time with just a little personal message so they know it's me and not some random person. But yeah, it it's really frustrating because I would like a pri um, sorry, I would like a public account on my Instagram but yeah. And also there's a few people that I know that I don't want them causing me any more grief, hassle, so upset, whatever word you want to say. just goes like that. But again, just let me know if you guys are getting that or is it just me? It's probably just me because, yeah, I'm, I'm the biggest loser there is. So, I don't know. I don't know. I just seem to attract not very good people people so I know some of it's just random stuff and I know some of it's kind of just computer generated but I'm also fully aware that it's actual real people yeah so it does go without saying about those messages you know whether it be email or PMs on egg I always block and report where possible yeah unless you guys can think of anything else that you do if you receive anything like that let me know yeah so obviously of course it does it upset to me as well and i've nerved me because at the end of the day we all enjoy doing the craft that we do and i guess the meanies out there like to kind of yeah do their best to stop us guys having all this fun and enjoyment on these modern media platforms so yeah but I guess sometimes it it damn hurtful sometimes when you get somebody that is really direct and kind of critical and yeah whether it be your craft your sorry about yourself how you look how you sound you know I can't help that I have a mixed accent I cannot help if my sewing isn't up to whatever standards you know some of these viewers watch and see what I do but then don't come to my channel and uh, yeah the other stuff that I oh know it's probably pranks randoms computer generated but I don't know or just some block stuff but I was kind of without actually being specific on those words but chess peaceography you know what I mean yeah or those things we get those messages about yeah you know I click on this link yeah right i don't think so and also those other random ones where they say that they've added you to the group and i'm thinking yeah but i don't know how they would do that because if you have a private account 
I mean, imagine if that happened to people that do not have a private account. It, it's public and they say that they add you. I don't know. That, that really creeps me out. And then obviously you get the random people that <laughs> just try their luck and yeah, send messages. And or then you get the other ones that, you know, kind of copy people's accounts and then you kind of have to go through all that to you know work out that you are who you say you are and somebody else has copied your account yeah that it really puts me off and then sometimes I feel I don't know whether I should continue or not but then I enjoy doing what I do and some of you guys <laughs> enjoy it and obviously some of the other ones enjoy it for different reasons and think it's okay to PM me email me but yeah bring it on so I don't really read very much anymore. I know it's so hard. You, you kind of see sort of the first sentence and it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then just delete. But, you know, when it first kind of started happening, you know, you read a little bit and then, yeah, it kind of stays with you. Yes, yeah, so anyway, let me know what you guys do. And, yeah, anyway, let's get on, hopefully, to do some sewing. Right, so I am going to do a little bit of sewing. I'm going to start off with some sharing, sharing, sharing. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, of course. And uh, yeah, so last night, which was Thursday night, I usually do every Wednesday for the social Zoom with Andrea and the lovely ladies. But yeah, last night it was a Thursday. Okay, so I am on another Zoom, which was arranged by Andrea, and these are the lovely ladies, and they're all going to say hello. Hi. Hi. And is everybody okay? Yeah. Lots of enabling going on here as well with fabric. <laughs> it wasn't planned. Yes, it was. <laughs> and I showed the lovely ladies little bit of sneak peek of some garments that I made and yeah the sharing that I started yesterday and I'm doing it on a cotton jersey and yeah it is possible I don't know if you knew that a couple of ladies last night said oh didn't know that you could do that so yeah I'll just flip the camera around and show you yeah I kind of always break the rules with sewing. I think, yeah, let's give sewing a go and see if it works out. And uh, yeah, nine times out of ten, it does, which is great fun. Yeah, so I am going to hopefully carry on sewing, surging a top, but kind of change it up a little bit and put a little bit of sharing in. Yep, so this is the fabric that I used and as you can see it seems to work really really well and it's gathered up really good and yeah really pleased with that so hopefully it will behave itself and do as good a job as it has here on the main top that I want to do it on Right, this is my completed shared panel here, and yeah, pretty happy how that has come out, and yeah, I guess my lines could have been a little straighter, and I admit that I eyeballed this instead of actually drawing lines, and when you share, you do it so the fabric is facing right sides up, yeah, so pretty pleased with that. Also to remember to use a regular needle and also I used 
length of stitch was about three and a half there and yeah so I just flip it over it'll be a little bit curly until it's then attached to the main garment so yeah closer look all my lines there my sew magazine has not long since been delivered and looking at this garment here and uh, yeah kind of looks cute it says it is a free pdf pattern and yeah i have to ask somebody to print it out if i decide to go and get that but yeah looks kind of cute also comes with two patterns first up simplicity k8849 skirt dress and top kind of like the look of the little summary dress there not sure if those buttons are functionable and yeah the fabric i don't really like that fabric but that doesn't matter it's not about that it's about the pattern yeah i'll just show you the line out there and uh, yeah looks relatively easy straightforward the other pattern is new look k6546 and kind of looks like basics the pants i think might have an elastic waist just a very very basic top there and just something light to kind of just throw on over so no fastenings there yeah this is not my style at all yeah i think looking at the line out there they are elastic pants elastic waist pants rather <laughs> yeah so it's good for comfort wear something casual if you'd like to wear it around the home but yeah that one's not for me and this basket here uh my patterns and fabrics for frugal frocks so i am hoping that i will start on preparing one of these patterns and uh, no, I'm not going to tell you which one I have decided. You will see March 31st. That will be the reveal on Instagram. And also, like I said in the Frugal Fox video, some of us vloggers are going to do a video of our reveal. Yeah, so that might take up my Arvo. Okay, everybody, so I'm having a Zoom call tonight with my lovely friend, Karen. So say hi, Karen. Hello. <laughs> what are you sewing? Are we allowed to know? Yeah, just the uh, turn the buttons Margot pyjamas. So this is the bottoms, and I'm just adding some dark blue to the bottoms. Just to keep the length because I like them quite long, so that's what I'm just added on to that. And I've got my Ogden cami to match, so this is my sleepwear set. Yay! Ooh. Fantastic! Looks awesome! Yeah. Brilliant! Hey! <laughs> Alright, guys, I think I am going to leave the video here. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of a bit of a double Friday size today because last week's was not able to go up and sometimes when the person that sees the house is kind of around I stay out the way and therefore sometimes cannot make videos yeah so hopefully going to start on my frugal frocks dress and maybe carry on also with the top that I just showed you a little sneak peek of the sharing and all being well hopefully this Sunday will be my makes video again it just sometimes depending on how I can film things it's okay with the camera sometimes I can film but not always be able to go on my friend's laptop it just goes like that and also my leg is still being uh, yeah it's taking a whole bunch of time to get better 
So feeling like that, sometimes I don't always want to change in and out of garments and be in front of the camera. So this is me filming, but yeah, it, it goes like that sometimes. And yeah, so all being well, there should be a makes video on Sunday. Also, I had started to prep and pre-film a couple other videos, so they're waiting in line as well. And yeah, I might actually give you a quick sneak peek actually. And what could it be? Right, so I have a piece of wood there. And you might be thinking, crikey, piece of wood. What has that got to do with sewing? Ah, well, piece of wood, a little bit of fabric, a few other little bits and pieces. Yeah, so hopefully when that one comes next in line, that will also be a video that goes up. Right I go, so whatever you are up to, have fun and hopefully see you guys on Sunday. So stay safe and thank you for stopping by as always.